Your twin flame doesn't see you in the same way that you see yourself. And this is often the cause of physical separation between twin flames. And welcome back to my channel. I'm Brienne, a master certified Ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe. And if you're new to my channel, I've been in harmonious union and married to my twin flame for over four years now. And we live our life purpose as one, as, you know, as I said, master certified Ascension coaches and supporting others with everything that we've learned and that we have done to heal separation in our own union. Back to the matter at hand, and that is your twin flame not recognizing you or seeing you in the same way that you see yourself. And what do I mean by that? And going back to as well, that this is often the cause of separation, why we experience it in the first place. And what I mean by this is like, yeah, to some degree, we all love ourselves. We all have, you know, so-called strengths and weaknesses, right? We all have them. But how much of your strengths do you actually give attention to, right? If you're anything like me, one of the biggest things that I've struggled with on my twin flame journey would be self-criticism or um, negative self-talk or just not really seeing myself clearly, not seeing myself through the eyes of love. And that is something that I really had to dig deep into while I was healing through my own physical separation and really accepting myself unconditionally. And so my question to you is, how do you see yourself? Like, and in those moments when you're alone, how do you, well, I mean, any, t any moment really, like, how are you treating yourself? Do you find that your mental energy is more negative or do you find that it's very positive? Do you find that there's a balance between the two? Just really getting to the nitty gritty of how you see and how you treat yourself. Because if you're not seeing yourself as you truly are, which is uh, a divine being, and that would be seeing yourself through the eyes of love, well, then there's some work to do there. And that doesn't mean that you have to achieve some state of perfection in order to have union with your twin flame. That's not it at all. It's simply acknowledging that you are divine and moving through any feelings that may come up as a result of um, not truly feeling that in your heart of heart. Like you can logically know it and you you hear it and you conceptualize it to the degree that you can consciously, but to know that is a whole other level because when you know, like a, a knowing, an inner knowing that you are a divine being, you you move differently in the world. You speak differently, you move with confidence, you move with strength, you move with conviction, you know your worth, you know your value. And that is a very, very powerful being, right? You emanate power. And this is how your twin flame truly sees you and knows you at the core. And so if you're like, you know, playing it small and you're not standing in your power, and when I say power, I don't mean control. I mean power in the sense of um, peace, love. That is true power. That is divine power. If you are not standing in your power and you're playing it small, you twin flame literally cannot see you, right? Like they, they don't recognize you because you're, you're acting. You're acting something out that is not you. And the only reason that you're acting that out is because you have, you know, hurts within you where you have forgotten the truth of your being. And so, you know, this is oftentimes where twin flames, they try to connect with their counterpart and, you know, their twin flame won't really give them the time of day or they won't return their calls or, or text messages or, you know, you might plan a date together and then they just don't show up or they cancel last minute right? This is because they're indicating that they can't really see you, right? They, they know that there's a connection in their heart, but there's something weird about it because they feel it. But then when they like see you, like there's a disconnect, right? And it's for us, right? To move through that disconnect 
And when I say us, I mean like the one that's um, watching this video, right? Like if you're watching this video, it's for the purpose of you're clearly, um, you're doing your inner healing work, right? Which is why you were led to watching this. And so it is for you to acknowledge, okay, my twin flame's not recognizing me. So I must not be recognizing myself on some level. And that's going back to, well, how do you see yourself? How do you perceive you, you know, um, and really going deeper into that, you know, because you might be surprised at, at what you find. I was quite surprised at, and I still am to this day at times, you know, and what I find in my consciousness that how I've been treating myself, how I've been, um, you know, what's that saying? Like we are our own worst critic. And that's such a, although that statement is, it holds some, some weight to it. It's so not the way that we're supposed to be treating and perceiving ourselves. We should be seeing ourselves as, you know, just the most beautiful being that there is because when you, and not, that's not even a, in a selfish way, right? Because when you see yourself as love, you see everyone else's love because you're seeing correctly. And, you know, it goes to say with like, let's say if you're very, very, very judgmental of yourself, well, what's going to happen is you're going to project that and you're going to find that you judge other people as well, right? So in no direction that you spin that is that is that really a loving quality. And so when you choose to accept yourself unconditionally, you're naturally going to accept those around you. And this is really how you begin to uproot that illusion of separation in your consciousness is you love yourself. You acknowledge all the places where you might not be loving yourself and you choose differently. You choose to see yourself as divine. And this is the key, one of the keys I should say, to how twin flames are coming into harmonious union, myself included, is that you finally see yourself as as love. You finally see yourself as a divine being. And that doesn't mean that I'm you're an ascended master all of a sudden. No, no, no. It just means that there's a part of your consciousness that you have healed. And that part of you see yourself as God's child and you start to treat yourself as God's child. And as you do that, you have that handled your twin flame, they can finally see you. They, they, they connect with you. They see you. They, they're attentive. They're present. And you can then, you know, invite in those, those commitments and start to work on, you know, the physical togetherness of your, of your union. And so in a nutshell, how do you treat yourself? Right. And here's another really good thing too. Um, how do you like to love another, right? Or um, because how you like to love another is probably how you wanna be loved. And you can ask yourself, are you loving yourself in that way? You know, for instance, I was working with a client today and she said that she, um, you know, she listed like three things that she felt good about herself. And then when she felt into it a little bit deeper, she thought, well, I treat others this way, but I'm actually not that way with myself. And I was like, oh, see, there's a problem there because to truly love another, you first have to love yourself, right? You can't truly extend respect if you're not respecting yourself because we're all one, there's no separation. So if you're disrespecting yourself, you're disrespecting all, all of humanity, right? When you're loving yourself, you're loving all of humanity because we're all interconnected. We're all one. And so how we treat ourselves is how we treat another, right? And so, yeah, this is um, very good for you to explore and go deeper and choosing to see yourself as divine, choosing to see yourself as love, because that is the truth of your being. And as you see yourself correctly, oh, voila, your twin flame sees you as you truly are, as they know you to be. And that is what they're always inviting you into doing. They will not give you the time of day 
if you are stooping lower than what your value is worth or if you are not respecting yourself as their divine lover they will not they will not notice you and not on purpose it's just because it's an energetic reflection it's an energetic mirror of them inviting you to hey love yourself you're not loving yourself here and i know that you are beautiful and and worthy and you're totally enough and it's good it's good stuff so don't forget to hit that like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next video